Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. An election is about to happen, and it's not about politics, it's not about the economy, it's not about anything other than the survival of a morality. And this morality ultimately determines the fate of an entire people. And not only in this life, but also in the next. Morals determine choices, and choices have consequences. This is why any Catholic who goes into a voting booth without seriously considering what's at stake, really at stake, needs to so seriously start praying. Here's a case in point, the Minnesota governor's race. There are three candidates. One is pro-life and pro-family. His name is Tom Emmer. The other two realistic candidates, Mark Dayton and Tom Horner, both happily support the killing of children and establishment of homosexual sex as equal to marriage. No Catholic in good conscience can vote for these people, especially not in Minnesota in this particular case, and here's why. The current governor, Tom Pawlenty, has been the sole block to homosexual marriage and taxpayer-funded abortion in the state. He's done this with threat of veto. There are solid majorities in each house of the Minnesota State Legislature waiting to pull the lever for taxpayer-funded abortion and homosexual marriage, and only the pro-life, pro-family governor has blocked it, again with the threat of his veto. That's why a pro-family, pro-life governor must win that election, because a win by either of the other two guys means another state gets gobbled up by the homosexual juggernaut and public money goes to kill children. What any Catholic in Minnesota must understand is this, a vote, a choice for the other guy is a vote for immorality and evil. And this isn't unique to Minnesota, it's just clearly obvious in the case of Minnesota. In many governor's races around the country, the advancing or stemming of the tide of evil rises or falls with that governor's pen or his veto stamp. If a Catholic votes to put an anti-life, anti-marriage candidate in office, he might as well just pay for an abortion for someone because he has been part of the political machinery that has caused these intrinsic evils to come to reality. If the Catholic vote turned out against these evils, they would lose a large measure of their effectiveness, the evils. This is not about political parties. It's not about supporting anything other than morality. And make no mistake, this election is about morality, first, middle, and end. If a country is moral, everything else falls into place, families, economy, everything. But the choice is ours, and this principle extends to all Catholics in all elections, all the time, in all places. Killing children and the destruction of families trumps every other issue. When God the Father says to the Old Testament people of God, he makes it very clear. He does not say, I have set before you economic plan A and economic plan B. He says, I have set before you life and death. Well, here we are with life and death set before us. Your future in time and eternity depends on your vote. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.